In this tutorial, we're going to do a quick overview of what comes in Content Library 360, which is part of your Articulate 360 subscription. You're going to get templates that you can use in various products. You have character packs. Then you have all sorts of illustrations and pictures and videos and whatnot. So let's go ahead and look at the different applications and how Content Library works in them. And then it's just a matter of you jumping in and playing around with what's available to you. So first thing we'll do is look at Storyline. When you're inside of Storyline in Content Library, if you go to the Insert tab, which we're up right here, you can see there's a Content Library section. So you can insert characters. We'll open that up. So you've got photographic characters. Uh, you've got illustrated characters. And then we have these classic uh, illustrated characters. You can see there's all sorts of sorting opportunities here. Uh, when you're working with photographic characters, uh, basically you're going to get the photo or that character and then uh, if you look at poses, you're going to get that character in all sorts of poses. And again, you have some filtering options. Uh, if you're working with the illustrated characters, then the illustrated characters offer a little bit more. I'm going to go to Andrew, who's already downloaded. You can see the blue icon here means I have to download that, but Andrew's already downloaded. So if I click on that character, I get poses, right? So I've got all the poses. And then I also have expressions. So when you're working in Storyline, you can dynamically change the expressions of characters. So photographic characters, you have a number of poses. Illustrate characters, they're kind of built into the system. And so you have poses and expressions. And it's just a matter of like selecting a character inserting that character and then using the character in your course. So pretty simple. If you uh, go back up to the insert tab, you can see you've got other things you can insert. So we'll go to photos. So for example, I'm going to do a search for dogs and then I've got all sorts of dog photos. Uh, I can also search for illustrations. So you can see there's the dog illustrations, uh, dog icons, and then also have dog videos. So a lot of assets that you can use are kind of generic, right? They're not specific to courses. Like if you're building a safety course, you're probably going to find very specific imagery, but it's good a decorative imagery or general uh, imagery. And it's just a matter of selecting it and then hitting insert. Once it's on your slide, it's just like any other content on the slide. You can do whatever you want to with that object. Now, the other thing in content library, if you go to the slides tab, you can insert slides and you can see there's a content library option. We select that. Uh, you have all sorts of templates. And again, uh, you can insert individual slide types uh, or you can sort by light or dark templates. And then if you want a slide, uh, you just go ahead and select the slide. Hit insert here. If you want to insert multiple slides, you can just you know select the first one, hit shift and go to the last one and you can insert multiple slides. I'm going to go ahead and insert these eight slides. They're going to download. They're going to come into Storyline. And once they're in Storyline, you can edit and do whatever you want to with those slides. The thing with slides, you can probably it's best to stay within a template. There's a number of layouts to work with, but you can mix and match them. The key thing when you're mixing and matching them is to go to the design tab and then uh, look over here. You've got colors that are assigned to that template. So this one I believe was the Synergy template. And so um, when you're mixing and matching templates, you're going to get different color schemes. And so you want to make sure they have the same color scheme assigned to them. And then the other thing here on the design tab is the templates have different font layouts. And you can see as I'm going to the different um, template themes that those layouts are changing or the text font style is changing. So if you're going to mix and match templates, uh, just make sure to, to look at the color theming and the fonts. And then also probably look at the design elements and, and make sure there's some con visual consistency. Um, once the slides are on your storyline, inside your storyline uh, course, you can edit those and do whatever you want. You can break them apart, uh, make them interactive, take things off the screen, change images, whatever you want to do. It's just content on the screen. So that's working inside a storyline. If you do install Studio 360, which is part of you articulate 360 uh, inside a PowerPoint, you're going to see a um, articulate tab. So you need to install our uh, studio 360 and then you'll see you kind of have the same thing. You've got a slides, characters, photos, illustrations and videos, and uh, they kind of work the same way. 
uh, as they would in Storyline. So that's available to you if you install that uh, via PowerPoint. So again, it's an Articulate tab inside of a PowerPoint. So um, then when you're in Rise 360, which is one of the other authoring apps, inside of Rise here, when you go to create a new course, you're going to see there's all sorts of pre-built lessons. So what you have available to you is some in course templates, right, which we can see here. It says course template, so you can select that and that becomes kind of a starting point for you. We actually also have real content. So if you have this getting started in human resources, that's a complete course ready for you to use. And then if you want to, you can make some edits, but uh, you have a real content and then you have templates to kind of help guide uh, the structure. So you can see there's all sorts of courses here. And then over here, you also have individual lesson types. So if you wanted to do a course, let's say you're doing a course on business ethics, you can come in here. There's all sorts of uh, pre-built content for you. So that's one part of the content that comes to you. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. Uh, if I'm going to build a new course, though, and start with blank, let's see what content library resources are available to me. I'm going to create a new lesson. And we're going to add our lesson content. And then so when you're working with that, you're kind of limited. It's not the same as working in PowerPoint or Storyline. But let's go ahead and insert an image. And so uh, when I look at the images, obviously I can insert and update my own images. So I would come to edit and then I can edit here and I can replace the image with my own content. But let's say I'm doing a course on yoga. I want a generic yoga image. I'm going to go to the replace from content library. I can do a search for yoga and let's see what comes up. And maybe uh, this yoga image is what I want. And you can see how that works. So you have content library assets in Storyline. You have templates and all the other uh, assets that you can insert on the screen. You have similar thing in PowerPoint with Studio. And then inside of Rise, you have all those lessons, pre-built courses, and then you also have uh, these a uh, few of these media assets as well. So the key thing here is jump inside of uh, Articulate 360, start building, and then take advantage of all those resources to help you get started quickly.